So I would say this is Jeff. This is David. Hi, David. Hi, Jeff. We are playing Axiom Verge. Yay! Uh, I, my, I have... My, my intro, it, it spiked... I, I, it <laughs> spiked, spiked little uh, <laughs> recording over here. Oops. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> fine. Uh, it's fine. So, hey, look, there's a, there's a thing in the ceiling. Yep. We can't we can't do anything with that right at oh, the moment. We'll, right. we'll come back. We'll come back to that. All right. So since the last time we recorded, I have beaten the game and quote unquote one hundred percented it. So, I, so, so so none of this will be a surprise to you. No. Well, actually, maybe it is. Maybe it will be. I mean, so this particular maybe. shaft is full of enemies. Uh, so we're gonna skip it. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, this is that's that's the normal platforming way. Yeah. Uh, but we can just go through the wall. Right. When I first found that by accident, I was like, "Man, I've wasted so much time." <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you have you have no abilities. This I've, is painful to watch. Yep. This is going in the way back machine. Still using my favorite weapon in the game. Of course. Lightning we will, shot. Uh, we'll, <laughs> We will get new things besides the Kilver, although we will always be using the Kilver. <laughs> exactly. There's, uh, there are a couple other guns I used, as, not as much, but for a while, and I'll point them out when we get there, but the Kilver mm -hmm. was always my left, uh, left stick. Yeah, I find the, the left stick shortcut is awkward to get to. Really? Uh, yeah, because I'm using D-pad for movement. Oh. Well, I mean, so was I. I don't know, it's, it's, I wouldn't keep my hand on the D-pad. I mean, <laughs> we've, we've played enough, uh, Dark Souls, we should be fine. Sure. Uh, you'll notice that you can, uh, the drill does not terminate on the wall there, which means that it's actually a hidden wall. Yes. Uh, but we cannot fit through it. Nope. We are too large. Mm-hmm. And as discussed earlier, we do not have a morphing ball. <laughs> nope, there is no morph ball in this game. What hey, do we it's have a new here? one of these guys. Hello, Miss. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Very dangerous, but our ally. Sure, whatever you say. Uh. Yes. Talking computer lady. Giant talking computer lady who's directing us to more and more giant final boss looking things. Yep. This one is very similar to the last boss of Super C, the second Contra game. Can I admit something to you? No. If you're going to say, I've never played Super C, then I'm going to throw my computer in the trash and never speak to you again. No, I've, I've played Super C. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to throw my computer away now. I've only ever re I've only ever the seen the end of any Contra game from watching other people play it. I I don't think I've ever made it halfway through any of those games. Yeah, I know for a fact you've seen the secret ending of Shattered Soldier. Because you should <laughs> be, it yes. <laughs> and we did the little final boss thing with infinite lives and or yeah, ninety nine lives, and I still went through forever. like forty of them. Yeah, that thing, that last boss is. No joke. And I'm uh, not good so at it. Yeah, we now know what we're supposed to do. It's the name of the actual episode. We're looking for the power filter. Right. Uh, we're also looking for drones now. We won't actually get to the drones in this particular episode, but that's all right. No. We have objectives. We're, we're trying to get their blood all pretty first. Mm -hmm. We also know a little bit more about them. They are, they're called the Rusalka. Which means uh, water machines. Yes, water machines. The Rusalkas are like... Uh, kind of like mermaid things in mythology. I pronounced it Rusalki in my head. Uh, yeah, Rusalki, I think, is plural. Ah, the plural. okay. We, uh, our tiny little legs are not good enough to <laughs> jump up into that room. So no I'm going Trace to... Trace is a girly man. I have no choice but to destroy bubbles. <laughs> the tiniest. This is, this is very important because if you if you kneel here for and then the no no you have to have the red <laughs> ring equipped and yeah and you have then, to have the red ring and then you also have to have the white crystal and not the blue crystal and then the tornado will take you to the Borley Mansion. Is it the Borley Mansion? Is that what it's called? Uh, one of them is called that. 
Also, this know. is one of my favorite backgrounds in the game. It's just infinite beating hearts. Yep. Good times. Like, this it's, This is one of those games that when you're kind of in tunnel vision because you've been playing it for Lord knows how long, trying to find all mm -hmm. the items without looking anything up, you stop paying attention to the backgrounds. Upper left corner is kind of weird. Huh? What? Huh? Um, and it's, it's all good. We'll uh, come back to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have a new area, which and is... Um, I forget what this one's called. I think it's called, like, mm. Durhab or Ebher or Dur or... Yep, alright, so Dur Dur, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Also, <laughs> this this soundtrack, like, infinitely has that sound playing in it in my head. Mm hmm This is the one that has, like, what you could you describe it as a, a vocal track, kind of. Mm -hmm. Little Vocaloid kind of thing. Mm-hmm. This, this shaft is also full of laser things, yeah. as you can see. I noticed you uh, you destroyed a laser thing. You probably shouldn't have. Nah, it's fine. You don't want to take the secret shortcut? Nah, we, we'll use the secret shortcut when we have to backtrack through here. Oh, okay. That, that way we can have two experiences. <laughs> 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 the going through and shooting things experience, and then the skipping it all by going through the secret on the side experience. Yeah. No, you can't get through there. Yep, it, it, those googly bits we cannot get through mm -hmm. yet. Eventually. Spoilers. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can see the uh, secret way on the side yeah. there. And we'll it keeps it going now. up. It keeps going <laughs> up. Um, yeah, I don't think... Is that, is it, is that, over right. the course of the game, I don't think I killed more than ten of these guys. I just always turned them into buddies. Yep. Because their laser blue lasers do not hurt you and are vicious against your enemies. <laughs> They're great. That's another area. You could, like I'm seeing all these morph ball tunnels. I think you're gonna get the morph ball soon. I don't know about that. Zap. <laughs> Kilver doing work. Kilver doing God's work. Mm-hmm. I work for a church for the time being. I can say that. Yep. Electric <laughs> guns are are basically one of one of Jesus' principal tools for <laughs> sharing his message. I think this is I think I wanna say it's in the book of Luke. I'm the lightning gun? I'm I'm gonna have to pull church rank on you here and say that it was actually in Second Thessalonians. Uh, of course, of course. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think it's in Luke either. Hmm. I like we'll these to, guys. We'll have to agree to disagree. <laughs> right. I really like how that their their glitch state is just wander off into the sky. So if we shoot to the left, you huh. can see that. Yeah, Where? it does not. Yeah, but you can't make the, it up there. Yeah, because the axiom disruptor doesn't uh, collide with the wall. That is our <laughs> clue. That uh, this little hidden area over there. We yeah, do I not have the uh, the ups to get over there, but that's all right. I uh, I did not notice that that uh, was there. Uh, like that, I didn't notice it by that way. I mean, I, I noticed it by accidentally jumping into it because it's an area uh, I hadn't been to yet. Uh, I I came back here later and then saw that and I was like, I wonder what fits through here. I'm like, oh okay. Oh okay. <laughs> now I do we, like we got the high jump. We boots. got the high jump, and it's it's not high jump boots. It's you're literally breaking gravity. You still need to send me stills of all these things so I can. Yeah, I don't, them. I don't, yeah, you have to remind me. <laughs> Not when we're actually watching it. We got okay. a firewall, which is a great name for. <laughs> is a great name for a weapon. Is it any good? It's pretty good. Okay. It looks nice. I got it so late in the game that mm -hmm. it just didn't seem uh, worth it. Yeah, is it better than the Axiom Disruptor or the Kilver? No. Is anything mm, maybe one or two things, but we'll we'll mix we'll, we'll get some can, use out of it. I can think of one thing. Hey, you're I, you're I demoing almost, that yeah. sound again. Yep, yeah, that's it. I almost died. In, I always almost die in this area. <laughs> Actually, so I yeah. Just, I just walk through the enemies, but those lasers are um very damaging. Yeah, you're about to die again, aren't you? No, nope, that's nope. fine. The, 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 there's not infinite range on these laser guys, so it's, it is There fine. is once they start firing, but... 
in there? Yeah, it, it seems like that might be the case. Firewall's not good for these guys. I think it'd be a little easier if you locked your uh, view and just kind of hopped, but... Maybe, but it'd still have to move forward. All right, now that you have high jump, all those morph ball tunnels you can yep, get through. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we just changed the physics around it, and then, no, nope, that won't quite work yet. Now you're jumping we sideways, like that one mm -hmm. first-person or third-person shooter. Like that one... Th oh, you mean, uh... Fracture? Th fracture, thank you. I was okay. like, there's a bunch of gravity <laughs> shifting. I, that's all yeah. I remember about that game. <laughs> I mean, it's no quantum theory, but... Is that what that game's sure. called? Uh, I, I'm looking up at my games, but it's just like, no yeah. way, I sold all I my game boxes. Quantum theory. It's the one with the French robot. No, uh, Quantum Theory is a really uh, bad oh, okay. Konami yep. Gears of War ripoff that I own. Because the one with the French robot is also a Gears of War ripoff. Right, so. <laughs> but it's not uh, It's not a Konami joint. That's true. I think, is it a Capcom joint? I don't remember. I also don't remember what it was called. It does have a French robot in it. <laughs> and Big Bo? Big Bo? Big Bo? Uh, you know what? While this is going on, I'm just going to... I want to fact check during the middle <laughs> oh, of no. the recording. Oh no, you're going to the internet. <laughs> big bird? No, big bow. Big bow. B I G B O. Let's see. Big bow video game. Binary domain. Binary domain. Alright, that one. Exactly like Quantum Theory. Hey, we can drill through the ceiling. Yeah, so it took me forever it. to find that. Because <laughs> for some reason I wasn't looking for visual clues. I don't know. <laughs> I was I was looking at an FAQ to tell me where to go. <laughs> no, I, I did... I found there are, there are two items in the game mm -hmm. I, I did not find beforehand. It is a note. It is not in English. Nope, it's in... Su Sudrin. Yes. If I look at my Sudrin. alphabets. <laughs> I still have my alphabets. Along with all the other notes you've had me write over the mm -hmm. past week. Such wonderful clues. Let's see if I can bring this up. Such wonderful hints as Miskadoot Okay, neat. <laughs> it's your hint. You wrote it. All right. You still can't get over there. Yep, still can't. <laughs> still not tall enough. You Gumble. have to break gravity Gumble more. Cakes. Gumble cakes. <laughs> huh. Let's see. Are you at thirteen twenty-three? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Uh, mine. DLC window was uh, <laughs> freaking out a little bit there. I wanted to make sure it didn't get desynced. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, this is this is why you need to get your new computer soon, because I'm able yeah, to do yeah, all yeah. these I things. Look, I, I ordered the parts. The parts are coming. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> the the solid state the solid state hard drive arrived less than 24 hours from when I ordered it. Oh wow! <laughs> hey, look, it's a boss. I forget what this was called, <laughs> dude. I should have looked it up, but I didn't. <laughs> so we will uh, we will do the, uh, I guess the normal way first, and I will forget how to fight him because I've only done the, <laughs> I've only done the easy way right, right. since like the first time. There's a quick kill. We'll do secondly. I if I remember, well, I'll this I'll is... see what you do, but I think I did figure out the quick kill on my own. Okay, we'll see. Well, at least we can, uh... Nope, nope, way, that way is... to get rid of your... On. Nope, come back, come back before the laser! Alright, will you dodge... <laughs> nope, I continue to forget that it That it comes that. back down. Alright, duck. Yeah, duck! Wait okay. for it. Alright, it's fine. Uh, you can shoot off the guns, but you don't need to. Right, there's uh, no reason to. Well, I mean, other than seeing things explode. So, Which you know, is always it's, fun. It's its own. And to listen to the kickin' rad music. Mm -hmm. The title of this track is Apocalypse. It is. It's I'm 4 minutes and 34 seconds, 38 seconds long. I know, it's weird that you would know this so specifically. 171 measures. 
I needed to jump up. Yep. <laughs> it's at 180 BPM. I think. <laughs> you think? <laughs> That's what I've been practicing it at. I mean, spoilers. There we go. All right, I'm finally in the spot. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just need to angle it down and I'll be good. Nope. There you there go. There it is. Do you have to use the firewall to do it? Nope. But okay. if you stand here, you can just use the firewall and hit him. Yeah. I think I hit him with something other than the firewall from right there. Yeah, there's but... pl plenty of stuff to work. This just has the right angle. Mm-hmm. All right, now fall in the pink goo and die. <laughs> or, or fade away. <laughs> we'll never know what happened. <laughs> you fell in the pink goo and you died. No. Oh, we're going to watch the actual quick kill. Yes, this is a quick kill time. Okay. Demon, that's a dose steak kill. So we're just going to go take a mysterious journey through the goo. Of course. There's our spot. <laughs> Kill her this thing out of the way, and then get our Axiom Disruptor, and the end. Fantastic. So no, I didn't figure out the quick kill. I just got up top real quick and killed him. He died. It. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you fall in the pink stuff and die. No. <laughs> Don't fall in the pink stuff and die. I mean, you would edit that out anyway, but... Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Unless it were really funny. Yes, unless it was particularly amusing. Sure. Alright. Here's a device that's not straight out of Darkseed. Mm-hmm. That's the name of that game, right? Yeah. The Geiger game? Yeah, the, the Geiger um, point-and-click adventure thing. Mm-hmm. This is the uh, power filter we were looking for. Right. It filters the... I guess the water, which they run on, is the idea, or is uh, it literally just a dirty electricity? I think it might just be dirty electricity. Fantastic. So I think it's more like a power generator. But okay. hey, we got a cutscene <gasps> where we get to learn all about the uh, mythology of the universe, which is good because we'll <laughs> we'll be we'll be needing to cover it in a lot of detail. Right. This introduces the concept of the breach, which is important for the main plot and also like all the side plots so. right that's also just a really good picture mm -hmm. it's very pink and purple but a good picture pattern mind it's a, it's the uh, capitalized capitalized yeah that's a lot of bodies yep there's a lot of dead bodies I was about to make a comment, but I think it might be spoilers, so I'll wait. <laughs> we, won't, we don't have to like go through the ending of the game, but right. we can at least opine about the uh, how this is basically uh, Metroid Prime 2 mm -hmm. with the Dark Ether thing. Yeah. Except less backtracking. Sure. It's, it's a similar uh, plot structure here. We don't, we don't have like uh, light and dark world. It's not as little mm. as that, but there's no ammo as well, which is nice. Yeah, that's nice. So she one of the is other damage. Yes, she is damage. One of the other Rusalku we need. <laughs> yeah, this chosen one story doesn't inspire much confidence. Let's see, yes, we will, we will need to repair Ophelia. Ophelia mm -hmm. has interesting things to say. Actually, so does Veruska. We haven't gotten back to her yet. Right. <clears throat> so there's a pathogen that killed everyone, all the living things, all, at least all the people anyways. Right, all these sintering <laughs> people. Could I already be infected and not know it? Well, that's an interesting question, <laughs> Trace. If yeah. you recall earlier, if we look in the upper left screen, there's a... <laughs> we've already seen a second Trace wandering about. I didn't notice that the first time I played the game. Just a thing. Just a thing that happens. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that won't ever come up again. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> yes. Thank you, scary uh, 
weird Giger-esque uh, water machine for being so <laughs> forthright with all this information. I am always watch you. If you need me, call. Like, I don't know what you could do, giant nightmarish head lady, but... She has, you know, she can do stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, look, it's a little coat. Modified lab coat. Indeed. We're starting to get into the part of the game I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 this is an awesome power-up, though. It is a great power-up, and I like the idea behind it uh, a whole lot. I just don't like how you use it. Yes, I, I would prefer a dedicated dashing button. Yes. Not a double tap. There you go. Also, that's yeah. that's a horrible sound. I don't like that sound, but that's just <laughs> me. You can't do it uh, while jumping. No, you cannot. And if it's if it's more than one block wide, it will uh, cancel it out. I assume that there's the text on the side says something like pass or fail or something. Um, let's see. The upper right. C try. Uh, it's four. It's only four letters, so don't know what that would be. Okay, that's probably the same style, uh, digital style text as the weapon, so I, I don't have the analogs for that written out yet. Okay. I Got mean, health it's... Node. Yay, health node! I like the health draining sounds you get when you're in the uh, pink lava. So I jumped up there just to get the map space. <laughs> Right, you have to get all the map yeah. squares. You don't have to, but what, I'm going to. So we get 100% map, 100% items, and there will be some indicators when that happens. Right. So a lot of stuff happened. We got a lab coat, which is neat. Yep. Uh, and it's the end of the video, so I'm going to do a little <laughs> fire dance here. Uh, we learned about Lightning the dance. breach, the breach attractor, mm -hmm. the Rusalka, of which there are many, and they are not all on the same side, or at least they have very different opinions of each other. Mm -hmm. We also got a lab coat. You got a lab coat. Can jump higher by breaking physics, and you might be going crazy as you slink off the. Uh... So yes, we got Sudrins, we got Pathogen, we got Athetos, we got the breach attractor, we got the concept of the breach, the planet. We have the Veruska is the one we've seen. Ophelia is the one we've heard about. Elsnova mm -hmm. is the one that keeps talking to us. Uh, and there's a highly likely that Trace has been infected. Right. I say as if I, yeah. Or or it's, it's this is also another legit Or there are two Traces. So. Maybe three. Infinite Trace. Infinite Traces. Infinite Trace. If it, in if you're like, this in 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 patron. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's rewind that and and try to play mm -hmm. it back a little slower. Let's try 0.75 times speed. If you <laughs> fine, if you uh, <laughs> if you like what you've seen, uh, you can go to our Patreon. Uh, give us a certain amount of money each month, and we'll love you, uh, or we'll give you rewards, or both, probably both. Uh, and yeah, maybe we can do this full time, get more updates out more often. I mean, we've been putting out a lot of updates lately, and if you want that to continue, hey. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like a slime ball for phrasing it that way. Whatever. <laughs> eh. <laughs> we're gonna do more axiom verge to come this game's pretty awesome it's, there's story happening it's really good we got, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually be able to start talking about when we get more of the notes mm -hmm. we'll be able to start talking about the uh what happened in the what what happened in the past that is not covered in the cutscenes, and then we can start uh postulating Ooh, postulate. getting some theories about what is going on in in the uh sort of in between the things that are not stated in the notes so mm -hmm. There's some good stuff going on there. Exactly. The end. The end. All right, I'm going to stop recording.